Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a grass tutorial, realistic grass tutorial. I mean, this is probably one of the best grasses I've ever made, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to, if you can see over here, it might be a bit laggy because there is a lot of grass in here, uh, 55,000 to be exact. Uh, camera view, got the, the light set up, and I'm going to run through all this all. Hopefully it's not too lengthy, sorry if it is. But I mean, I mean, yeah, it is. It does look good. So uh, I'll stop talking and let's get to this tutorial. Starting now. Nah. All right. Um, I didn't do that much. I just created texture, a plane. Uh, added a texture, make it look a little bit better when I put the grass down. Uh, just find pictures of dirt, textures of dirt uh, on Google or something. You'll find something. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, I just might as well show you guys what I did. Uh, if you guys want me to tell you how to get um, a bit bitmap two material, um, I got it for free. So if you guys ever want to, let me know and I'll give you the links or I'll just make a video. Right, let's get started. Uh, make sure your plane is length segments, maybe like forty. Uh, the more length segments, I'm going to make a. Um, uh, like a noise modifier so it can be a little bit hilly of a grass plane so uh make sure it's 40 or depending on what your project uh, really depending on your project so you're gonna go to modify list you're going to go to um noise oh yeah noise and noise uh, make sure fractal can't pronounce is on uh i think i put z as 107 not sure oh my definitely not uh, <laughs> roughness. Was it this? Ugh, what I what I do? No. Oh, wait, maybe. No, definitely not that. Sorry, I'm just trying to like play with it. Really, get it right. Um. There. That's, yeah. Eh, eh, still bad. A little bit deep. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so uh, my Z is 46, uh, scale 150, and integration is 10. Everything else is Zettel. So, go to modify list again, and you're going to make a hair and fur. I'm, yeah, hair and fur, I'm not going to say words. I, I listed spat, or, uh, properties. I'm not going to run to this thing because it'll crash my computer with this recording. So I'm just going to make my hair count 50 for now. For now. Uh, hair segments, uh, leave it at 5. If you don't already don't know what hair segments are, might as well show you. It's these little uh, triangles inside. The more you, say if you increase their um, hair segments, the more smoother the bends and more polygons the hairs are gonna have so it's kind of a good it's a good thing but it's a bad thing if you have a crap computer uh density um 100 scale 30 cut length i leave it at 100 uh random scale i think it's random at least it makes sense if it is i don't I never really looked it up 95 root thick um 2.5 i don't like my roots big tip 0.5 and if you can all see Give you a little second to look there. Scroll down. Hue variation zero. I don't like when it changes colors on me. Uh, value variation ten. And specular twenty. Glossiness ten. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I just want to get you the stuff and move on. Uh, everything's good. We're gonna change the hair count at the end. Or actually, if you want to know, it's right now it's fifty-five thousand, but. All depending on your project because this project is uh, on the grid size or is, is the grid size so whatever the grid size is uh, 55,000 is a good hair count so yeah uh, tip color now this is where it's a little bit different for everybody depending on what images you get I uh, got reference images off the internet so Basically, try to get four pictures of different types of leaves. I would look that up, Google, le uh, leaf textures or just leaves. 
close-ups of leaves. Uh, excuse me. So I'm going to make sure it's like a, a, a lighter color uh, on the tip. Uh, root color is going to make sure you're clicking bitmap. Uh, it's going to be a darker color. You don't have to worry about these because it doesn't matter as long as you have the image. Uh, everything is good right there. And then specular, you're going to click on the gray box right next to it. And same with these. These are all gray boxes until you click on them. Bitmap. You want to be a lighter color than the tip. So that one. Glossiness. Um, you could use the same one, but I'm just going to use this one just because I used that last time. In the beginning. And I believe that are all the stuff. So I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create a, we'll create a light later. I'm going to make a target camera. Drag it out, drag it into it. This is all basic stuff that mostly everybody should know. I would hope so. If you want to change the camera view to, I always make my front viewport my camera. If you want to know how to do it, go to camera, camera, uh, camera all one. Uh, zoom it in. Get that nice grass. Now we're going to add a light just because adding light just makes everything 10 times better looking. So we're going to create a light. I'll move it over. I hate one little corner. You can see a little black corner. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. Hate it sometimes. All right, you're going to go to lights. Now you're Omni. Put it right in the middle. You're going to raise it. I'm going to put it towards the camera view. Towards the camera. So you can get this thing. Uh, you see the shadows in the form. Now this is all. You can stop right now if you really want to. This is all just like addition, additional stuff, I guess. So the uh, Omni light, I'm going to make it. Oh, I couldn't select this for a second. Uh, multiplier is going to be 2.5. Now the color is going to be like a mix between yellow and white, like right down the middle. I just did that just because of the sun. Sounds like that kind of. It's a little bit more white ish yellow. I don't know. Uh, shadows, shadow, leave that on. You can make whatever shadow map. I'm just leaving shadow map. Same, we'll raise a little bit, and that should be it. I mean, there's really nothing else you can do. You hide grid to do that. You do G. Um, I said, since it's been kind of short, I'm just gonna render it just for the hell of it. I want to make sure everything's good. Oh, yeah, hair count. Jeez, now this is where I'm gonna crash, or I might crash because 1080p. Yeah, see, everything looks. 10 times better. So I'm going to, ugh, I'm gonna regret it, but. Uh, not responding. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Uh, I mean, you kind of get the image. I kind of wish it was not cut off right here, but I'm just gonna let it load a little bit more. But overall, you guys get the picture. Uh, mostly when you're using tip color and hue or uh, root color, always use a reference image. Never do the pick. Oops. Never use the pick. Yeah, it actually looks not that bad. I suppose it was so more plain right here, but uh, whatever. It's a corner. It's a side. We expect. So that's the end of the video. Um, check out my other videos. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, comments and yeah. See you guys later. Peace.